Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you who is new to my channel, my name is Zoe. I'm a content creator, stylist, a nurse, a mom. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys briefly what I have thrifted and what my future plans are for a DIY of some of the items. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is this one. <laughs> um, it's a huge, very big, large uh, corduroy pants and I went to a Goodwill like I think three or four days ago just to check it out and they had like a white tag $1 sales. I just went in and then found this pair of pants for $1 and I wanted to like create that that folding the end of here DIY look I featured on Tutu on and I will be making a DIY tutorial on it too so stay tuned for that. Another pair of pants is this one, another darker grayish corduroy pants. I was more drawn to this because of the side pocket here. The utility kind of look has been in style for a while so I'm like yeah something uh, just more fun. Obviously this is big so I am going to fold it again. Another pair of pants are these super big darker brown color pants. I don't know I just love these kind of like wide pants which fit me like very like baggy style and it, I feel like this is really long so I like that long like elongated look just this kind of fabric like satin looking but not really like shiny fabric has been catching my eye recently it's a fall season I've been into very fallish colors and this is another one <laughs> You guys are probably thinking, did you buy anything that fits you? This pattern is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, it's just like very fallish, but it's not completely just solid uh, dark brown color. And I love the texture of it. It's kind of more like winter or fallish, thicker fabric. This one is just like simple, like not completely black. It looks black, but it's a little bit hint of blue-ish color on it. And it's of course big, size 34. It's Kirkland brand, which is like Costco brand, I feel like. Um, it's just like simple pants. I'm gonna show you blazers later, but there is this like one blazer I found from the $2 Goodwill store and I wanted to kind of match, mix and match this is almost similar color so that it looks like I have an expensive suit set together so of course this one I'm gonna DIY it I'll show you the blazer later on to more denim-ish casual looking pants this one, okay the back, no the front <laughs> This one is probably a little bit big on me. Still like size 34, so I'll probably have to like DIY a little bit on the top. But yeah, this is kind of like, the fit is kind of just like wide pants. Well, I was very drawn to it because the color green, this kind of green has been in style. I think purple and green has been more like in style these days and I'm drawn more to green. Is this they're all even interesting because none of these are like, I can't even try it on. It has to be like, you gotta stay tuned for the future DIY because I'm gonna DIY all of it. <laughs> oh my god, it's ridiculous. Like, it's so big. But this one I bought because of all the texture, like the pattern. I love these square patterns on here and I felt like it would be such a cute piece. It's kind of thick. It has like an inner lining to it too. So it's gonna be perfect for like winter or fall. Even though California doesn't really have winter. It's gonna be nice. Another one is this big ass jeans. This one, of course, I can't DIY, but I bought these to use it as like kind of fabric for my future DIY I have in mind. And because it was $2, I didn't really think much to it. Sorry, but you have to be like torn apart. The last one is a pair of pants which finally fits me. <laughs> I think I kind of showed you in my previous thrift uh, tip video, but this one actually like fit me perfectly, probably like size 25, the waist size. And it's like a perfect cute looking like slacks pants. Super cute and it has like that fold here too. It's like perfect in the middle and it like, kind of looks new. It's like super good quality, no stain, nothing. Huh, now I look at it, maybe someone DIY'd here too. Oh! <gasps> Oh, they did! What the heck? Oh my god, this is super smart. Wait, why? Why? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a detail of these. But yeah, someone actually DIY'd on it. And it's such a good idea. Oh my god, no one really noticed this. Okay, cool. 
I'll move on to skirt slash dresses. First one is a skirt, size 11. Maybe this was, I think this was from maybe like the girl section. That's why size is like 11 or 12. So, but I'm a petite size. So this fits me perfectly. And I felt like I don't have any of this kind of skirt barely. So I felt like it would be like, like a nice touch of femininity to my closet. Okay, next one is uh, this one. This really long dress and bottom part has like the zipper on it. The top part has zipper on it so you can kind of cut it and attach it at the same time. Um, yeah, but the back part is kind of open too. So it, it, I felt like all these details, if this dress didn't have any of these details, like I would have, maybe I would have bought it for like DIY project. But I think I'm gonna do more DIY, but still like the details, like the extra pocket on the side, super cute, like the zipper here and all this detail, I was like very drawn to it. Oh, the last one is kind of very different from like what I was buying. So I bought these at a $2 Goodwill outlet store. Like at the end, I was like, shoot Zoe, like you have no self-control, you bought so much shit, like blah, 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 like blaming myself. And then I saw this. And and I was like, oh, I need to get it. <laughs> It's a very interesting statement piece kind of thing and you can wear it to like, I don't know, like more high-end events or something like that. It has a shoulder pad so I'm gonna, th I'm thinking of like maybe taking it out because it's really easy. It's kind of like on the inside, not like inside the fabric, which is harder to... Oh, the smell of thrift store. So I can kind of take it off if I want to, but it's kind of like oversized shoulder like look and it's a little bit long maybe a little bit more goes below my knee size is kind of like oversized but i can accentuate like stitch my waist with the belt i bought i'm gonna go start with just a little bit more toned down blue color like sky blue color maybe and it's this one the texture is very interesting i don't know how to like it's kind of like shiny and pattern kind of looks like the fish skin <laughs> <laughs> but it feels pretty good. It kind of sounds nasty, but I'm gonna zoom it up and show you guys. All the buttons are intact. Like everything looks pretty good. Size large, but you can kind of wear it's like just kind of like cardigan on top of like a shirt or something. But at the same time, I feel like I can DIY this. Also, another color one is this yellow one. I think I briefly showed you guys during the thrift tip vlog video and this is like super bright yellow color. Oh my god, isn't that so cute? But there's like a, this mark on here. I don't know if I'm gonna cover this up by DIYing or maybe I'll use this as another fabric or something like that. Okay, moving on to like two more white uh, button-up shirts and these are also from men's section and it's very large and long. And when I think about DIY, like I tend to buy bigger, longer button-up shirts because it's so easy to DIY and you have like more fabric to work with. Okay, moving finally onto blazers. This one is collar part is black and I felt like it's such a cute detail to it. And it's kind of like light jacket, like not super thin or anything. And like even the shoulder pad is kind of like just very um not thick very thin and yeah so i feel like it would be a perfect fall blazer and i'll look if you look at the side like this side of it there's uh these three cute like strings attached to it with cute sparkly uh button like, i wanted to do more di on it but maybe i'll just leave as it is you know the blazer i was talking about that i'm gonna make a pair out of this one like a suit set with the uh, pants is this one this one also i think i found this first and then i was like you know like holding on to it and trying to match the color of the pants and i found a suit set um it's not it's from the men's section but it's not super big this is another blazer with like like stripe pattern on here very oversized wait one side has a shoulder pad but the other side does not so i'm gonna just take it out <sighs> shoulder pads are kind of easy to take it out if it's not like in in between the fabric so here is the shoulder pad. This one is actually like kind of like thicker fabric coat or blazer and the brand is London Fog, which is like super nice. And it's shoulder pads inside between the fabric. So, but I like the shoulder pads here cause it's kind of oversized fit um, and like the thickness of it, make it more versatile. You can also wear it for winter. If you're from like Michigan and that area, you can't wear this, just wear this as a winter coat. Because you need like a thick ass jacket which goes down to like your ankle area like you know those not like puffer jackets not just like super cute puffer jacket you can like kind of 
just wear it like this and like off the shoulder oh hell no you're gonna freeze to death this will be more inside the puffer jacket okay the last one this is not really a blazer kind of interesting fabric but this one i bought it for or am i gonna this one's kind of expensive it's like seven dollars but i was so drawn to green and this fabric is so interesting kind of like i don't know how to explain it but i'll just like zoom in and show you guys but the pattern is kind of like rose pattern and i felt like this would be a perfect diy project or like fabric to use um very simple like like zip up top i was so drawn to it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i like it so much it's so puffy and feels weird but good at the same time so i bought it bought one and this one is a bucket head and it's like a pattern of like lots of uh, cameras and stuff like that and it has like like embroidery says 3d on it which I have no idea what it is the color combination is so cute and with my new bangs it fits it looks super cute right with my bangs so I'm gonna go over the belt first I bought all of these belts from the $2 Goodwill store so all of these were two dollars each of course and the first one is this yellow like bright yellow one this one has like barely any i don't know like it kind of looks new when i oh, i styled this one with that purple looking dress i had to buy at the end and it was like super cute just combined with this like cinch stitching the waist it's like a nice statement piece and this one is just like a classic like super um these kind of belt was more popular like a few years ago but uh it's just the red animal print on it and like, sometimes you need this kind of belt in your award two ones are <laughs> very interesting ones <laughs> oh my god this one is literally looks like one of those like chupan chupan on go kind of looks like it and it's very interesting but i felt like of course maybe for my outfit too but also for future styling i feel like this would be a nice props to have and this one is <laughs> like it's probably just plastic but like kind of looks like shell shellish texture to it and it's kind of like very bohemian the other one too but it's a nice statement piece for any kind of outfit okay now on to the bags i bought this one is this one <laughs> okay so buy buy plastic bag this one is not really a bag, kind of looks like a lunchbox, like those kids' lunchbox. It's just like a metal box kind of thing. And I, these days I've seen a lot of like just box looking bags. And, and I kind of checked if this sticker will come off easily. So, let me take that right now. Yeah! Oh my god. Okay, cool. Bye bye. Bye, sticker. Yes. Yay! Gonna probably DIY and maybe attach like uh, those chains, like plastic chains. So I, I was at the $2 Goodwill store and the shoes and bags are all like $5. So this was not $2, but I felt dude, this was like pretty good quality. Look at this. Like everything works perfectly and it's not really worn out. The handle, like it's pretty good. The inside is might be dirty you can kind of wipe it off with a uh, baby wipes or something like that but the pockets are nice and next one is this white one um this one was like i think seven dollars at normal goodwill store and it's a fake fendi oh my gosh i think the real one is like seven hundred dollars or something like that and it just looked very new it actually had a tag on it and i was like dude you know what it's, it's written like actual like Fendi on here, Fendi everywhere, and I'm like seven dollars for a good quality fake Fendi bag. <laughs> and I like for my defense, I don't have any white bags, so I was like, might as well just take it. This one is this very interesting looking vintage. Oh, does it even show? It's actually a Marilyn Monroe on here. There's like sparkle gems on here too, and I felt like I don't know, like old school. Um, Hollywood vibe on here and it's super cute. I like the vintage vibe of it. This was five dollars from the two dollar Goodwill outlet and the brand is actually Ann Taylor I think. Wait, where is it? Eh. Yeah, Ann Taylor. So it's such a good quality like 
the leather uh, part of it super nice like this texture is so nice like handle i checked everything of course the zipper works fine and i love this early 2000 vibe i i, I didn't really like it at first but i kind of grown to love it so it's a nice just like go back here and you can kind of just like, hold it like this and carry it around oh this one is actually one of those like tiny bags from 2000 early 2000 bag but this was just like simple black bag and the quality of it is super nice like the two dollar goodwill outlet is usually pretty good stuff there so yeah it's just on the zipper handle says self so i don't know what that means i don't know what the brand it is but i i like this like black simple bag and i had the urge to diy something on it so that's it for the thrift haul i hope you guys enjoyed me talking a lot and explaining some of the ridiculous pieces i bought <laughs> but i will definitely show you guys or give you guys like a diy tutorial on how to diy from these impossible looking clothes and then make it into super fashiony interesting looking piece so stay tuned for that if you guys have any suggestions for what kind of video i should make for you let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel and follow me at about zoe lee for daily fashion inspirations and diy ideas and all that see you in my next video bye